Is A-B testing dead? At Exponia, we work a lot with big names in fashion e-commerce and we help them optimize their websites. When you're a shop and you're trying to build a relationship with your customers, you need to know what's important to them. Is it hunting for sales? Is it using organic materials? Or is it a premium product line? Now, the answer is that it depends. And some of your customers might be interested in sales, others are interested in organic materials, and perhaps nobody is interested in the premium brands. Our new solution, Contextual Bandits, will help you tailor this messaging for each individual customer. Contextual Bandits are like a sorting hat from Harry Potter. You put it on the head of the customer and it knows which variant is right. Now, how does it know? It looks at the context. It looks at the historical customer data, such as clicks or purchases, or perhaps emails that they opened, and the data from the ongoing session, such as what did they search for. It aggregates it and creates the context, which the contextual bandit uses for making the decision. It will select a variant. For example, it will show the organic messaging. Now, something happens. The customer might convert. That means they click on the banner, they make a purchase, or they sign up for the newsletter. This provides feedback for the model, and it will know whether it made the right decision when it paired the context with the variant. Over time, uh, the contextual bandit will make much better decisions. Now this represents a paradigm shift in the entire industry. Currently, the common practice is to perform an A-B test. And we would answer the question, which variant works the best for the entire uh, audience? Now, what ends up happening, however, is that a significant portion of the customers see something they don't care about. Let's assume the previous scenario where 70% of the customers are interested in sales and 30% are interested in organic materials. After we reach significance in the A-B test, we would show the messaging about sales to the entire customer base. What just happened, however, is that you misunderstood the 30% of your customers and showed them something they don't care about. Moreover, uh, you, you just missed an opportunity to show them products with the so substantially higher uh, profit margin. So you're missing out on your revenue. Now with contextual bandits, uh, this wouldn't happen to you. Think about it. Perhaps it was as simple as uh, showing the messaging about organic materials to people who previously purchased products made on, from organic materials or made by brands who pr produce them. Now, Bandits, they do that automatically. So they reframe the A-B test question from which messaging works the best for the entire audience to uh, what segment should I show this messaging variant to? Uh, it's fundamentally different because instead of assuming that one size fits all for the entire customer base, we're assuming that every variant has some merit to it, that it's good. We just need to find the right portion of, the, of your customers to show it to. And yes, some variants might not be that effective at all, in which cases the bandits would, wouldn't show it to anyone. So does this replace A-B testing? And the answer is maybe. There are still scenarios where contextual bandits might not be ideal, especially when long-term maintenance is required. For example, it would not be practical to maintain both three-step checkout process and a five-step checkout process. However, for many other scenarios, contextual bandits present a true paradigm shift in the industry.